What is going on everybody? How we doing? Woo! Boy, what a day, man. What a day. It has been hot. Had some big yards to do. Getting ready to do a push mow. And I'll show it to you real quick. Not the whole thing, but uh, I know you're not going to notice this. But uh, it is extremely hard to get up on these curbs as high as the dirt is with the 48. I don't know if you can see that. So the curbs have to be done with the push mower and the backyard, so it's right there. Uh, this gets cut at four and a half inches, everything, every week. But, uh, oh man, got a lot going on today. Uh, I've done a two acre, one acre, little uh, postage stamp, a quarter acre, and then two 10,000 square footers. And then this one, and I've got another quarter acre. So uh, gonna get plenty of footage at the next place, but we're gonna talk today about something that uh, Tom Doby and I were talking about last night. And I think it's worth mentioning uh, for you guys who are starting a business. So uh, anyway, let me get this thing done. It usually takes me about 35, 40 minutes and then uh, we'll get on the next one and we'll talk. I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the backyard of this house that I just got done doing. And uh, inevitably, there will be some asshole that will say, he just talked about being efficient and he's push mowing. Why don't he get more equipment and be a real lawn care business? Well, I'd love to see you get... A 36, a 34, a 32, through this gate, over these stones, and down this steps, by yourself. And uh, the yard looks beautiful, I might add. We're going to show you what a $499 lawnmower, as opposed to a $3,000 lawnmower what it can do and I don't know if you guys can see the stripes but it looks beautiful nothing wrong with that so when I tell you I'm efficient I am as efficient and cost effective as I can be just for those few out there that will uh, run their mouth and say he doesn't know what he's talking about he doesn't know anything about lawn care and efficiency au contraire a-hole I do and uh, I also know how to save my money and not spend it on needless equipment because guess what all of my equipment's paid for Anyway, enough of that little rant for the uh, haters out there. Let's get over and get the next. Well, let me show you the front here. I'd love to see somebody put a 34 walk behind back there. Let's show you the front here. See how we did. You all saw the before and uh, we're going against the stripes so you can imagine what it looks like on the other side but there's the after not bad for old doc see you soon
Okay, guys, that one is done. Last one of the day. Got a couple to do on Sunday, but they're like uh, rental property type stuff. Stuff that's abandoned, you know, the big one acre field. Anyway, this one gets cut at five inches, so we don't even lower, I don't even lower the deck. He loves it that way. And uh, what a great guy, man. He came out, he always gives me water, we talk. And uh, so what I wanted to tell you, Tom and I were talking about some of the things when you start a business that you should be expected to do. And uh, one of them was you should have a little bit of capital, guys, to get started as far as, let's say you're going to do a mulch job. And this is part of the professionalism, in my opinion, okay? I don't care how anybody does it, in my opinion, I would never ask the customer for the money up front to pay for their mulch. Because to me, that looks like you're unprepared, okay? I don't want to look unprepared. When I come to any job, I am ready to buy the mulch. I have the capital set aside for every mulch job. Now, in the years past, I was spending anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand in mulch, so I had to build my business up to where I had that type of money and the ability to be able to go get that money and use it for the mulch. So it's not something I did the first year or the second year, but that's one thing I think when you start a business you need to have some type of capital set aside for business expenses it makes you look so unprofessional in my opinion okay listen did you hear that in my opinion when you have to ask the customer for money up front okay it just looks bad i'm just saying that's me i wouldn't do it if if you guys do it great i'm just saying i wouldn't another thing and we didn't talk about this, but I was thinking about this today. There should be no type of relationships between you and your customers. If you understand what I'm saying. Friend, friendly conversations. No. Uh, that has ruined many a business relationship. You know, and you understand what I'm saying. I don't need to point that out any further. Keep your distance, men, from the wives. Wives, keep your distance from the husbands. And if you're single, don't, uh, don't be messing around, man. Don't mess around where your wallet's at. You know what I'm saying? That is a big no-no in business huge no-no i want to know from you guys what are some of the other things that you don't do in business and i'm going to tell you my last one that i can think of off the top of my head because i'm ready to go home i am it is it's a hundred degrees out here the last thing is when you tell somebody you're going to do something you better damn well do it or you better get on that phone there's no texting there's no sending an email get on the phone and communicate it with them personally that means a lot to people because a lot of our customers are a little older school guys okay folks with money folks who have already been through their life they're used to being talked to in this day and age you can get three people in a room and they'll text each other instead of talking you know what i'm saying uh, i think it's nuts but that's the way young people are and uh i don't know communicate with your mouth to their ear you know what i'm saying anyway if you guys have more things that you should or should not do in business Please let me know, but those are the ones I think are just must, must, and uh, be prepared.
be prepared. When you go to a job site, be prepared. I'm guilty of that. I have forgotten things many a time. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of trimming I could show you. It's hard to trim with a tablet and drag you around everywhere. And I'm not spending $600 on no stupid GoPro just to do videos. Hope you guys have a great day. Love y'all. Have a great weekend. We got another video coming tomorrow. Small mulch job, but Nessa's back with me. So as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, man. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.